Welcome to the Odyssey. Today I'm going to be reviewing a set of lights that were sent to me by a company called Auxito. They got a hold of me, saw some of my YouTube videos, and asked if I would like to do a review on these lights. So I gladly accepted a free product, free lights, and free idea for a video. So why not? Now one thing I want to tell you is Auxito has offered me a partnership here where I'll earn commissions if you end up buying through my link or using my uh, coupon code. I'm also going to be able to offer you a 15% off the list price of the bulbs by using the coupon code The Odyssey. that's T-H-E-O-D-Y-S-S-E-Y, -S -S -E when you go through checkout on their website. Even though they're going to pay me commissions here, I'm going to be 100% fair on these lights. If these lights are good, I'll tell you they're good. If these lights are great, I'll tell you they're great. And if they're junk, I'll tell you they're junk. But I'll put the link up either way. Start with shipping. The lights came relatively quickly, I believe it was in three days, and they came in a poly mailer with this box inside of it. Not a big deal, the box is in a great shape. Let's open them up. The box looks nicely made. Another reason why I think it'll be absolutely fine shipping it this way. There's no damage to the box whatsoever. Ooh, it almost feels like opening a new cell phone. We get some gloves along with it. Some instructions. All right, so flipping through the instructions, I see a few things real quick. Uh, there may be potential that these are gonna throw a code on your vehicle saying your headlight's out if you have a headlamp out uh, warning on your dash. So we'll see how that works. The Dodge Ram that I'm gonna be putting these in does have that. So we will see if it throws that code. Bulbs themselves are a metal construction. These are 9,007 bulbs that I've got, so they are dual filament. There's LEDs on that side, LEDs on that side, uh, probably actually considered SMDs, surface mount diodes. Now, according to the receipt, the invoice uh, that came through my email it said these were 100 watt bulbs. Now, it's important to note that the uh, 9,007 bulb is 55 watt on the low beam and 65 watt on the high beam, for a standard bulb. So if these are in fact 100 watt bulbs, they will be drawing more amperage to the system. So that's gonna be an important thing to consider. Uh, 65 watts at 12 volts DC is 5.41 amps, and 100 watts at 12 volts DC is 8.33 amps. I bought a set of 100 watt bulbs for my Yamaha R1 years back, and it melted my stock wiring harness. First thing we're gonna do here is bench test these bulbs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this 12 volt DC power supply up to them, and I'm gonna measure the amperage running through the line to see if they are in fact 100 watt or if they are different than what it's claimed. I'm going to do that by taking this harness, this extender harness that I have, and uh, modifying it like so. And what I'm gonna do here is hook this up to the power supply, plug it into the bulb, we'll test low beam, we'll test high beam, and in line with that, I will put my multimeter to see how much amperage we're pulling. The first thing I'm going to do here is verify the voltage on the DC power supply. And I am coming in at 11.54. I'm going to slightly adjust that voltage higher. All right, we're now at 12.63, which is gonna be more accurate about what your vehicle is gonna be putting out. Now, I'm going to change this to DC amperage, move my cable to the fused circuit, and hook this guy up to the power supply. I'm just using the terminal block for this one. The wires that power it, are not connected right now. We need to plug the bulb in and then test these. So that's one circuit and that's the other. So now we'll pay attention to what we're pulling on amperage. So that is pulling 2.17 amps this is pulling 2.12. So essentially we are not pulling 100 watts on this. We're actually pulling less than we should with the stock bulb. So I don't really know what the 100 watt figure is here. Um, certainly seem 
pretty bright, LEDs usually produce more light with less wattage. So that could be the thing. Uh, maybe it just sounds good to say 100 watts, but these are certainly not burning 100 watts of power. So I just did the conversion on the amperage draw for these bulbs, and one of the equates to is about 28 and a half watts. So you're actually running less wattage than even the low beam on these bulbs. Now there's a fan that you can hear kick on on these as well. Um, seems to be a pretty well built product so far. Kind of like it. Next we'll move on to bulb fitment. So I've got the headlight out of the truck. And we'll just see how well this guy drops in there. So it appears that this is allowing some movement which is not a good thing. The stock bulb goes in, stays right in place. So I'm going to have to pay attention to how this goes in and make sure I lock it down right there. Alright, so I've got the retainer on there, but you can see I can still move this. So I'm going to put it in the same place, but unfortunately it is not holding itself where this bulb actually would. And the reason for that, if you can see it here, there's a recess there and a recess there. And then as I turn them, there's also recesses there and there, but there is not on the back of the bulb. So there's recesses there and there, not on the back of this one. And that's why it's moving around. Basically, what it's probably doing, probably just a resistor that ends up going in line. The vehicle measures resistance and it uh, will start acting funny if it doesn't have the resistance that it expects. So, this is just going to plug in right in line with the lights and it should correct our problem. Close up of what we're looking at here just plugs right in line. This box, one side marked in, one side marked out, relatively simple. There is a hole to be able to mount it. I'm just going to throw it in there like any redneck and not tie anything down. Final thoughts on the Exito LED bulbs. Kind of like them. They're brighter. Uh, I like the color in them a little bit better. And just overall, I think they're built relatively well. I will update in the description if I have any issues with it or three or six months in, something like that. Um, so if you uh, want to pick up a set, I will leave a link right up here. And if you notice here, I've got this lovely set of going to town gloves because I didn't use them on the installs. So, you know, another perk if you buy the Exito balls. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe if you would. Makes my day. See ya.